Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. I am Crazy Kirby 97, and um, I don't have a co voicer, but my dog is sitting on my lap. Does she count as a co voicer? Okay, uh, she's a puppy, so I don't think she's even capable of language. But then again, in dog tears, I guess she is kind of capable of language by now, wouldn't she be? Screw it. Screw it all. It doesn't matter. Anyways, I am Crazy Kirby 97. This is Banjo Kazooie. In the last episode, we... What we do? Well, we, uh, basically we just kind of played a little bit. We got some stuff in this level. And in this episode, we play... I plan on trying to get this level done. And, um, I've actually decided what game I'm gonna do after this. Which is a very hard thing for me to do. You know, I'm not very good at choosing things. And it's... And it turned out I'm gonna be doing... A let's play for Ocarina of Time. Okay. Just for the record, I am like any other Zelda fan. I like Majora's Mask more. But I want to do Ocarina of Time first because Ocarina of Time is kind of like... Basically, Ocarina of Time was one of the first stories in Zelda. And Majora's Mask takes place after it. And then A Link to the Past takes place. Oh, hello there, Mr. X. Follow the clues if you are looking for treasure or for gold, treasure, all the same thing. Look, Patrick, the balloons. Okay, so since we've uh, just, just, uh, just acquired our flying ability, flying is a very slow thing. It's not a suggested move. Later, uh, flying is a lot faster than our shortcuts and stuff around things, and I will explain those later. I'm gonna hit this bitch. Go tap that ass. And I wanna check some things after this. I need to make sure I got all the bubbles open. I actually, you know what? Screw it. I have 11 right now. I should have 12 by the end of this level. Or maybe more. A little bit more would hurt, but uh, 12 is the possible amount I should have. Why didn't I grab a single red feather there? Whatever. It doesn't really matter. There, the red. We're not gonna eat any red feathers if we go over here, so. You see the arrows that kind of lead you in what direction to go, and you see what might be X's. X by X. Now, right here, he plays a trick on you. I thought I was confused for a second, and then I was like, You fool. Boo right there. Oh, ha, you'll never find me now. And I was like, What? And I was like, Boo right there. What the fuck, man? What the fuck? Yikes, please open me gently. He yeah, asked you that. Oh, they're paying for it now, buddy. Nine. That is German word. It's also a number in Americanese. So, before I take a little look, salty hippo. Salty hippo. Who? No, I'm, I'm I'm not I'm not even talking now. That you saw that one rare. You saw what you did there. I saw what you did there. And if you didn't see what you did there, I saw. Now, why I'm going over here? Uh, I don't know if there really is, but if there is a mumbo token down here, I want to grab it real quick. I'm pretty sure there is one. Uh, don't quote me on this. No, there isn't. Okay, never mind. They wouldn't put one there. I don't- Oh, I don't know where the last one is. Never mind. I'm an idiot. Mmm. Lovely. Whenever I hear them say, mmm, lovely, I think of the two cows. Or the cow. I said one cow. One cow said that. That one cow in Conquer, where she starts drinking the cranberry juice. I, I don't know why. I just think of that. It's what comes to my head right away. And, obviously, that was mm, since my first time at, like, Conquer. But, shut up! So you don't actually have to take a little door there. If you want to waste some feathers, you can go up like this. And uh, there it is. It's not that far away. But I just wasted feathers, so... That was not a good idea. There should be the end of the new commercial up here. Yeah, it is. It's five on top, if you do it on it. So, uh... We're gonna go through this door, but before we do that, I wanna go back behind here, and there's a grunty switch to press. And the Jiggy finds! Ooh, shiny. 
Okay, that was kind of a gay voice. I'm sorry about that, guys. So I'm gonna use a rat attack rat, and I don't wanna. Oh, it bounces off. Never mind. I don't wanna go through. Grab the Momo's Hooked first. I'm not sure. I'm just trying to be careful, because I don't want anything messing up in this LP. You know how I am. Now, you're probably wondering how you get a top. You can't, you can't do it. You found all 100 notes in this world. Well done. All right, here's a jump, a shot ring pad. And it's not that cryptic. I actually tried to fly on top of here most of my playthroughs. I didn't know you actually had that platform there. There's a dance you guys wanted to see last night. Well, sorry. There you go. You saw the dance. Be happy. Be healthy. Cheerios. Now, there's two ways down. You can risk a life and fall, or you can actually go down like a convenient human, which is usually not expected of me, but I don't want to lose a life. Now, there is a way down that I know you can double jump and you'll never take damage, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not, I'm not some kind of guy who likes to take dares and lose health because I took dares. So, uh, you're gonna need to learn that throughout this LP. I will not take very many risks while playing this game, because it's dying is too much of a risk, and I'm not gonna go ahead and do it. Oh, it's stupid. Now, uh, we got everything in this level? Yes, we did. Good. So, we have all the jiggies and all the stuff there is to get. So, uh, that's good. Teleportation device of some kind. We teleported! Where'd we go? Oh, there we are. Wow, your best notes go off of this well. This is now 100. That was me and my crappy British accent. I am not British. If anything, I'm Monty Python with my fake British accent. Why do we all sound like we're some kind of stupid multi Python sketch? Hello, governor! Hello, governor! Hello, governor! This is a four, sir. Okay, so, right here. Um. Actually, you know what? We're gonna spend a lot of time in Grunty's Lair next episode, so I'm gonna, like, stop it here. And we're gonna have a big Grunty's Lair special. Your butt will tell you, and you'll know. When my boot swings to and fro. For a minute there, I thought his butt was going to talk to him. Next episode, guys.